Mr. White is the manager of a large helicopter company well known for its sightseeing tours and luxury flight transfer operations. He is waiting for his flight in the lounge of another helicopter company and is requested to watch the safety briefing on a screen. Matthew was assigned to pick up a passenger to bring him to the airport to get his plane. He is preparing his helicopter and performing his pre-flight checks. Matthew is joining his passenger, Mr. White, and invites him to come to the helicopter. During the boarding, Matthew is giving the last safety instructions to his passenger. Matthew gets into his seat and puts on his flight helmet. Mr. White is surprised that Matthew is wearing a helmet and asks him about it. He would like to know if the company has a concern about the safety of the flight that will require the pilot to wear such equipment. Matthew replies that it is part of the company's safety policy for all pilots to wear helmets. Mr. White tells Matthew that he had never thought to require such equipment for commercial operations in his company in case it scares the passengers. Matthew is surprised by this as he had never had any concerns from his passengers. Once, a child told him that he looks like a pilot in Top Gun and his parents told him that the helmet gives him a sense of safety. Matthew starts up the helicopter and takes off for the flight. The area they are flying is well known to him and he tells his passenger about some of the interesting things to see on their route. Matthew indicates to Mr. White that helmet visors are very useful to reduce glare and make it easier to see in the sun. There is also a good noise reduction that makes it less tiring for the pilot and it makes radio communication easier. Suddenly, Matthew sees something black through the windshield in front of him, heading straight towards him. It impacts him and gives him the taste of blood in his mouth. Matthew was unable to anticipate a bird that just hit them. Although a bit shaken, Matthew regains his composure and lifts up his blood-covered visor. He replaces it with the second one to recover his field of view and begins to reduce his airspeed to prepare the helicopter for an emergency landing. Now fully in control of the situation, Matthew looks back over his shoulder to check his passenger. Mr. White is shocked but safe, a bit covered in blood stains and some feathers from the bird. Matthew explains to him that the helicopter just hit a bird and that he has to prepare for an emergency landing. Mr. White is asked to check his safety belt and is reminded of the safety measures for an emergency landing. Matthew lands safely in a field. He shuts down the engine and helps his passenger who is still a bit shocked. Matthew reassures him and uses his phone to call operations. He explains the situation and arranges for alternative transport for his passenger. Mr. White congratulates Matthew on his handling of the situation. Matthew thanks him and indicates that without his helmet, he could never have landed safely the helicopter. As operator or pilot in command, you have obviously to manage the safety of your flight. You have also to continuously improve it. Some equipments are designed to improve flight safety in different types of situations, whether it's a commercial flight or a private flight. The most important is to take care of yourself and your passengers by implementing appropriate safety measures. Are you properly equipped for the risk you will face on your next flight? 